What is going on, guys? My name is Griffin, and welcome to episode 8 of my 1.16 Survival Let's Play. If you were keeping up in the last episode, you know that we just finished a large chunk of the underground portion of the Cave Spider XP farm that we've been building for a few episodes now. Even though this build isn't 100% finished in my opinion yet, I'm still really proud of it. And at the time of this upload, I've actually also released a time-lapse compilation of everything that's gone into this build so far. I'll put the link to that in the description of this video. Check it out and share it with a friend. That would really help me out. For now though, let's talk about what our plans are moving forward. As it stands, we have everything we need to get a decent set of enchanted diamond armor. Not a super OP god tier one shot everything set, but a good set. A set that's good enough for us to go into the nether and begin harvesting the materials that we need to begin our journey to slay the ender dragon. Now I've already got a decent amount of levels on me already, so I think first I'm just gonna get these guys to shut up a little bit. Take that little bit of extra XP. We'll grab some lapis out of the chest right here and we'll begin working on enchanting our diamond set. Now the goal for every item in our set is protection and unbreaking. Protection three is pretty good, so we'll take that. Protection four, even better. Fire protection, mm, that's just okay. We'll put unbreaking one on that and we'll take it over to our grindstone. Get our XP back from that, we'll try it again. Protection three, that's pretty solid. Protection three and unbreaking three. And we're gonna enchant our golden boots because we don't really wanna tend with piglins while we're in the nether. And I'm just a few levels shy of 30. So this is actually the perfect moment to time an AFK session at the spider spawner. I'm literally just gonna let the footage roll, brew a pot of coffee, go enjoy a movie, maybe do some chores, and come back and we're gonna see how much experience that period of time yields us. I'm thinking we'll go for a 30 minute break, so I will stand right here, I'll open my inventory, I'll put the game on mute, because that many spiders is gonna get annoying really, really quick, and I will edit the space in between now and then to show you guys how much experience we get from a 30 minute AFK session at this spawner farm. See you in a second. Alrighty then, we are back from our exactly 30 minute break. My frame rate has dropped substantially. I don't know how this is gonna translate on the YouTube video. Now, you can tell there's obviously quite a few spiders right here. If you plan on attempting this, I highly recommend having a sword with both Bane of Arthropods and Sweeping Edge because your goal is to knock these guys out in as few hits as possible. So, without further ado, let's get that XP. <laughs> so many dropped frames. The entity count has got to be off the charts right now. I'm going to see if I can even get down to gather the XP. Oh, it's going. I don't know where I am. Oh my gosh, I'm on top of it. I'm on top of the spawner. That is not what we want. It's so slow. Definitely don't attempt this unless you have a computer that can handle it, which I clearly do not. Okay, we're just going to crouch under here. And just let those levels rack up. I am definitely going to speed this up in post. Okay, around level 33, we've got our frames back. We can move around. It just keeps going and going. Level 38 is where it stopped. Now that we're done with that, we'll head back here and enchant our golden boots. Unbreaking, oh snap, depth strider, fire protection. Fire protection will come in handy in the nether, but gold boots are still gold boots. Now that we've got a halfway passable set of enchanted diamond armor, we're going to make our way back to Griffin's Point and begin prep to camp out in the nether for just a little while. We're gonna need to stock up on blaze rods and ender pearls to make eyes of ender in order to find our way to the stronghold to enter the end. Thank you. 
And not that nighttime has ever stopped me from running back to Griffin's point before, but now that we have an enchanted diamond set, we have even less reason to be scared of these guys. Come at me. Come at me, bro. Right off the cliff. And I'm off the cliff. Okay. Mr. Shiny Pants and Shiny Boots. Not gonna lie, running past here gives me just a little bit of PTSD. Okay, come on. Oh, Jesus. Man, leave me alone, dog. I'm not trying to get yeeted. Mm hmm. You're gonna kill him for me. Or not. Why is that chainmail so strong? The fact that we are 16 major updates into this game and we still can't craft chainmail is beyond me. Yo, my base is so pretty at nighttime. This is why it's worth it to make your builds look good, man. It just makes the whole game experience that much better. Okay, we have mostly cleared our inventory and we wanna grab things that we need. We for sure need a furnace. We already have some coal in our inventory. We'll take that little bit of iron. A whole stack of just any easily mineable block is always a smart idea when you're in the nether. Helps you get around. We already have four ender pearls, so that's a good amount. But we're going to want to come back with at least like seven or eight total. Generally speaking, strongholds tend to appear anywhere from like 1,200 to 2,000 blocks away from spawn. So the strategy is to throw an eye of ender and then run maybe three or 400 blocks and then throw another one as to not waste them because even though the minecraft wiki says that the chance of an eye of ender breaking mid-air is low that's just not my experience we can for sure grab some gold ingots for some piglin trading and all that gold gives us an excuse to make use of the carrot cave and let's go about 30. Thirty-five golden carrots should be plenty to last us through a good run in the Nether. Running back to the XP farm because I think I left all my wood over there. Do 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 do. I'm gonna come down here and grab all this wood that we thought we were gonna use in the spider build and then totally didn't. We're gonna grab some of these for a surprise later. Why is Griffin always picking flowers? Well, it's because Griffin likes making things look nice. Okay. Well. Stuff I do for YouTube, man. Okay, we're back at Griffin's Point. We're gonna get some wool. The wool shearing Olympics. If sheep shearing plus parkour was a sport, I would have the gold. Whole bunch of naked sheep. And we got one. Hey Griffin, why are you getting all this wool? Surprises, my dear YouTube. Surprises. Time to say goodbye to the overworld. Just for a little while. We're gonna have ourselves a run down to the Basalt Delta. Life is a highway, and I wanna ride it all night long. Ba ba da do bump bum. Right? Crawl down this way. Get hurt there, get hurt there. Okay. Shoot. Uh. Ah. Your mama. Gosh darn it, come on. Really? Oh no. Okay, come on, aim. Ready, steady. Take this smoke. I gotta get him eventually. There we go. Get that out of here too. Oh jeez, they're everywhere. Oh, criminy. Come on. How did that not hit you? Ah. Okay, I'm, I'm getting mad now. Come on. Come on. If you don't stay still. I'm so. Oh my god. Just die already. Oh, 
There we go. You know, in retrospect, a bow might have been a good idea, but we live life on the edge, baby. God, they're making that sound. Matthew! No, it's not Matthew. Trying to find that nether fortress from our first visit. Guys, I... I think I'm lost. Let's run back through our path of wanton destruction and let's just... Let's see if we can retrace our steps here. I don't think it was by this soul sand valley. I really hope it wasn't by this soul sand valley. I'm super not in the mood for that. It's just only the most dangerous biome in all of Minecraft. No big deal. It's chill. Yeah, just... Y'all just keep showing up, huh? Come on. Give me something to work with. I just need it to not blow up my torches so I can find my way back. Come on, man. I can't, I can't do, that's the one sound I can't do. Like the attack sound. There we go, let's go. Two, oh man. That's one. Oh, that is two. Let's go. Okay, y'all can call me a cheater if you want, but I am going to look at that old video because I opened the coordinate screen when I found that nether fortress. Well, gonna mark those coordinates. Okay, 307, 117. I was sort of headed the right way. I'm super dumb. It was past the basalt delta. Yep, this is looking familiar. Can see it in the distance. And aghast in the distance. Oh, I'm just really not in the mood for you right now. Shout out to all my other coordinates challenge Minecraft players out there. Love y'all. Oh, you just gonna you just gonna pop up in the background, bruh? I got two. Ugh. Got him. And this leads us to why I harvested all that wool earlier. We are going to make ourselves a very fashionable nether hidey hole. Hidey hole, campsite, whatever you want to call it. Hidey hole on steroids. Now before I hear any trash in the comment section asking if this is going to be my nether base, no. Again, glorified hiding hole. We're going to make something only slightly better than a hole in the wall. Okay, now we have a space that's halfway decent to stash supplies, talk plans, and narrate the rest of this video without getting blown to bits. So right now, the plan is to infiltrate the nether fortress and find a blaze spawner. From there, we'll camp out until we feel like we have a good amount of blaze rods, and then we'll move on to the warped forest and start hunting endermen for ender pearls. It's bound to be a good time. Let's just hope we don't get jacked. <laughs> Should probably do just a little more to decorate this outside before we get out of here. Okay, this is just a little more homey for what we need right now. It's not the most glorious build on earth, it's just some place to hang out. And we'll make some ladders so we can begin scaling the nether fortress. Okay, our main order of business is going to be finding a way to scale these pillars where a ghast is not super likely to blast us out of the sky. So I actually think this hole in the ceiling right here is the perfect starting point. Just pray we don't get yeeted off this thing. Right next to a blaze spawner. 
We got mad lucky. Not trying to play blaze ping pong with you today. Just want to find where you're coming from, buddy. Oh, shoot. Ah! Two angles. Okay, there's one. Let's take you out. Ah. Oh, God. Got that blaze rod. Oh, jeez. Okay, this is mad dangerous. Let's make sure we mark our pathway down. Get us some damn carrots in us. Oh, yeah, just walk right into it, Griffin. Great idea. Come on. Is that all you got? Get took. So my endpoint at this fortress happens to put me right in between two spawners. So it is mad dangerous. Oh. And a magma cube. Oh my gosh. Ugh. Get out of here. You didn't fall? Ugh. Oh no. Okay. This is not going well. Not the soul sand. Oh, what am I doing? Oh lord. Retreat! <laughs> Okay, let's regroup a little bit. Okay, so we already know that our endpoint of the fortress is conveniently and equal parts inconveniently right by two blaze spawners. So I think I'm actually going to break one and then put a nether rack ceiling over the other. This should prevent blazes from moving too far out of reach. The worst thing in the world is when you're being assaulted by five blazes from 40 blocks away and you don't have a bow to handle. Oh, hi. How's it going, buddy? You, uh, you, uh, up for some trading? Stay there. What's going on, man? What you got for me? Uh-huh. It's gold. That was alright. Try again. Crying obsidian. Come on. What was that? Oh, that's a lot of iron. Okay. Keep going. Come on. It's gold. You like gold. Yeah, there you go. What is... Spectral arrows. Does anyone use these? Don't give me trash again. You got three more tries to not give me trash. There we go! Can you do that two more times? It's really astounding how long it takes you to figure out that that's gold, bro. Did you just throw me netherrack? No, obsidian. All right, last one. If it's good, you don't die. If it's trash, well, I'm, I lied. I'm actually probably about to kill you either way. Blackstone, that's awesome. Now I will take your life. All right, we're going back in. Make sure there's nothing around us. Begin very carefully scaling the wall again. What? Let's shift click really quick. Get the nether rack in the first click of our inventory. We gotta build that roof really quickly. Okay, since this one's closest, I think we'll build the roof over this guy. Okay, shoot. Please leave me alone, Mr. Guest. Okay, there we go. See, and now this roof keeps them from floating off too far. Nice. Now it's extremely crude, but this is adequate enough for us to harvest blazes this early in the game. So we can just hang out here, just wait for them to spawn. Let's go! They're also really great experience for mobs, so it's a win-win all around. Sure you stay healed up. Golden carrots fill the most hunger in the game, so they're the logical choice when you're 
going on dangerous excursions like this. Is that... Wither Skeleton. Awesome. I chose the most dangerous place in the entire fortress to ladder up. Now that we've more or less defused the threat of this one, I actually feel pretty good about keeping both of them. Maybe we can have a pretty sweet dual blaze farm at some point in the game. I'm feeling bold. Let's cap this one too. And the cool thing is that mobs can't see through fences the way that players can, so you're actually completely safe from gas blasts inside of these lidded blaze chambers. Okay, we've got 11 blaze rods. That is more than plenty. We can head back down and not get took by two gas at once. Uh, Man, I am playing it really close today. Stash our blaze rods. Okay, next order of business is going to be finding a warped forest so we can hunt us some endermen. But for now, that's all for episode eight. If you made it all the way to the end of this video, make sure you're subscribed to my channel. I'm putting out plenty of fresh content every week. There's way more where this came from. I always appreciate your support. I'm having fun making these videos. I hope you enjoy them. I'll see you next time.